Welcome back to the Basic Beginners FreeCAD course for FreeCAD version 1. We've been learning how a profile, when combined with an operation, produces different forms. Understanding these operations helps us recognize how subjects can be broken down into simple features and which tools we need to construct them in FreeCAD. Many everyday subjects can be modeled with a combination of just a few operations. Pads, pockets, revolves and grooves. We've learned that if a subject side silhouette looks like a rectangle and its top view is more complex, it often suggests sketching the top profile and using a pad or a strewed operation. If the subject's top view is circular on the other hand, but its side profile is more detailed, it points to sketching a cross section profile and creating a revolve. By breaking subjects into additive and subtractive features, we can build up the correct shape step by step. But our logic doesn't stop there. Let's apply this logic to a simple bowl. A round bowl has a circular top profile. And when we look at it from the side, we see that it has curved sides. So the revolve is perfect for creating it. But what happens if we wanted to create a square shaped bowl? The top view is no longer a circle, so the Revolve tool no longer applies. To solve this, we need to understand what happens with the round bowl. We're essentially sweeping a cross section along a circular path. If we replace this Revolve with a sweep, known as a pipe operation in the part design, we can create bowls of any shape by simply changing the shape of the path. The profile, which is the bowl's wall shape, sits on the side plane. The path, which will dictate the journey of the extrude, sits on the top plane. As the profile is swept along the path, the shape is created. When the path is circular, the result is identical to a revolve, but the path can be any sketch, open or closed, and can even be taken from the edge of another operation. When sweeping profiles around more complex paths, such as a rounded rectangle, you may encounter problems at the base where the surface intersects. To avoid this, shift the profile so its tip sits directly on the edge of the path. This adjustment prevents self-intersections and produces a clean form. However, you will notice that the bottom of the bowl remains open. To close it, we can reuse the same path in an additional operation and then apply a pad to create a solid base. Once you understand the available tools, you can break down any subjects into separate features and rebuild it logically in FreeCAD using the relevant tools. Suites aren't just limited to closed paths. They also work with open ones. Consider two new forms. In both, the cross sections remain constant from start to finish. If the cross section is constant, it's better to create it with an additive pipe operation. This operation opens the door to more complex modeling, where profiles can follow paths that aren't simply circular. In the next lesson, we'll put the knowledge into practice using pipes applying multiple planes and profiles to tackle forms that can't be built with the Revolve alone. I hope you enjoyed that video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. If you like what you've seen and you want to donate to the channel, then you can do so via Ko-Fi or Coffee at ko-fi.com forward slash M-A-N-G zero or via PayPal at paypal.com forward slash PayPal me forward slash Darren B. E. Stone. I also run a Patreon where you can get early access and additional content. And that's at patreon.com forward slash mango jelly solutions. Links can be found in the channel header, on the about page, or in the descriptions of these videos. I thank everybody that's donated so far. It really helps to keep the lights on so I can produce more content and also expand the channel. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing to these videos. And I hope to see you again in the next one.